Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how I did this really, really gorgeous set using this Virgo charm and just like a really cute Virgo set. And I'm going to be showing you guys what I use and how I did it and everything like that. So if you would like to see, then please keep watching. But before we get into the video, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to like if you're new here. And yeah, you guys, I'm so excited to show you. So let's get into it. So first things first, I'm going to show you guys the gel polishes that I'm going to be using. These are from Madame Glam. You guys know I love Madame Glam so, so much. So I'm just going to show you guys a little mini haul of these three colors. Uh, this is from their newest collection. It's uh, the school, like the back to school collection. And I love, love, love these colors. So this one's called Old School. And then um, I'm showing you guys like the names on the screen because I know sometimes I can talk pretty fast. This one is Fancy Pants. And then these are reflective. You guys, look how reflective that is. I'm like so obsessed with it. It's so, so gorgeous. And then this one is so beautiful as well. I show you guys this one a little bit more because I love it. It's called Hardcore. And look at that up close, you guys. Oh my gosh. It's literally so reflective, so sparkly. Um, when the flash hits it, it's so, so reflective. I love it. So I'm going to be starting out with my nail tips and my Madame Glam base coat. And I'm just going to be base coating all of the nails. And I'm going ahead and just doing this with one coat. You can do two coats if you want a little more structure to the nail or like a little more thickness. And that's what I'm going to be doing there. And I'm just going to be repeating this process on all 10 nails. And this is a set that I'm making for fun. So I was just making it and then um, someone did end up uh, purchasing them. They did love them. So I'm so excited to see someone wearing the, this set because I feel like it's really unique and you don't really see nails like this. I mean you do but like at the same time you don't I guess. And right here I was just showing you guys that I tried this little strengthener on my nails and I kind of like it. It's like um, making my nails really strong. I took off every single one of my um of the nails that was from my last set and i just wanted to show you guys that was kind of random but yeah and this is kind of random that's like not even supposed to be there but i was actually going to show you guys how i encapsulate as well that's going to be in another video um i don't encapsulate like big things but i'm just going to show you how i encapsulate small like butterflies and stuff like that and then right here i was trying to see like which color i should use what kind of combo i should go for i knew for sure i wanted to use the light gray one but then i was like i don't know which one of the glitters i want to use and i just felt like um i don't know i felt like the bluer toned one kind of went more and yeah so that's what i'm going to be doing right now is just looking at them seeing which one i like better but yeah you guys i'm obsessed with these So I'm going to be taking this a gray color and then I'm going to be applying it on every other nail. And I do really love this color, you guys. It's so light. It's like almost on the bare, like almost like just pure white with like a hint of gray. And I really, really love the tone. It's more like taupey too. It's so cute. I really love this color. And this, it, like I said, this was from the School of Glam collection, which was their August collection. So it's like a new one. And they do have um, 10 different colors in the collection, which is really cool. So you have a lot to choose from. I know a lot of you guys always tell me that you love their stuff too when you guys purchase it and I swear you guys it's literally worth all of your money like it's so amazing all their stuff is so good um they're like gel paints are my favorite I literally talk about them in like every video but yeah so I'm doing that and then I'm curing it for 60 seconds in my lamp um sometimes it just depends sometimes I tend to like have a heavy hand when applying my gel like it'll be a little thicker but these are so pigmented you can just see that you don't need more than one coat they're literally so 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 pigmented like this is one coat only and they're already like so amazing and that's the thing i was talking about in a past video um someone was asking me like how i get the nail to not look bulky and it could be really hard if you're using um colors that need multiple coats because eventually your nails will get kind of um a little bumpy and stuff depending on how thick your layers are and stuff like that they have to be super even so it gets kind of complicated but for this glittery color i am going to be doing two coats of this and my biggest tip when you're doing press-ons if you have to apply multiple coats and you notice that the sides of your nails are starting to get a little lumpy just make sure you're continuously like cleaning up your sidewalls as you're painting making sure that none of the polish seeps onto the sides because that can really affect the shape of your nails and then also just make sure that um, if you do have lumpiness and it's already cured that you go back in with the file and just file off the sides and really crispen them up, shape them up just like you would with an acrylic set. Uh, that's what I do with like almost every single one of my sets just to make sure everything's really perfect and nice and ready to go. So I am just doing this color and then I didn't know what I wanted to do on the ring finger yet but I do end up going in with that gray again 
just because I really wasn't sure what I wanted to do. So I'm doing this. I love how it looks. It's really reflective and it's really, really gorgeous. And then I am just taking out some Swarovski crystals and a bunch of other uh, crystals as well. And I'm kind of just trying to see what I wanted to do with this set. I took on a bunch of different shapes and stuff, but I don't end up using those. So those are kind of irrelevant. But I did want to make the set really nice and blinged out because I, it is like technically like it would probably be a birthday set. You know what I mean? Because it's a like Virgo one. So then I realized right here when I was doing these like rhinestones, I was like, okay, none of these rhinestones are really going with the vibe I'm looking for. And then that's when I remembered that I... I had zodiac nail charms and I literally fell in love I was like okay I definitely need to use one of these and then I also remembered that I have really small little um like crystals I have like amethyst tiger's eye like a bunch of those if you guys are into crystals you probably know what I'm talking about but I have a bunch of them and I'll link them down below I got them from Etsy and they're just so 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 amazing they're really small and perfect for nail placement if you wanted to offer like gems on nails like real gems like real crystals you definitely could and I feel like a lot of people would probably like it so I just decided to do this, this was my first time trying them out even though I did have these crystals for a while already in my bling box for my nails because that's the only reason why I purchased them I wanted it specifically for that reason so I did buy a bunch of them. I also have like rose quartz so I'm going to do some pink nails as well and whichever nails I do using these little rocks or I'm going to call them rocks or crystals uh, using the little crystals I'm just going to end up filming it so you guys can see. Um, but yeah, so right here I was kind of just looking. I was like, okay, what should I do? I didn't really know where to go from here, but I did grab some little flowers. I linked these in one of my past videos, but I am just grabbing the Leo charm. And then I realized, um, the set ended up being Virgo because I think Leo season was already ending or it's ending like right now in like a few days or something. So I was like, okay, I want to give myself a few days to be able to post the video because I didn't want it to be a leo set and then leo season's over so i don't know when leo season ends you guys i'm a pisces so i have no idea but i do know that virgo season was starting so as soon as i started doing this i realized that i should go in with virgo and then i end up grabbing virgo and doing that instead and then these little nail charms you guys i do sell on my nail instagram it's nail shop slayed by valve you guys wanted to check them out um i'm not really sure if you guys can get them anywhere else i have no idea but I really love them. They're really, really cute. And these are going to be just placed in the middle. And then I'm going to be grabbing a bunch of Swarovski crystals, just different sizes. Like right here, I was grabbing an SS12, I think. And then some SS12, some SS10s, placing them in a bunch of random spots. I really wanted this to be like a cluster nail. So I'm going to be kind of going in depth about how I did it. And here I'm going to be placing the bigger gem. I kind of, or bigger crystal, sorry. I keep saying gem, I don't know why. Um, the bigger crystal and then I'm also applying more, applying them with my Macar rhinestone glue this is the uv led one so you have time to work on your set before everything and then i also have these little butterflies you guys i've had them for so freaking long i literally don't even remember where i got them but i will if i find some i'll link them down below so you guys can have similar ones or the same ones i'll look on ali i'll look on amazon and see if i can find anything but i also am applying some more swarovski all around i really wanted this to be more of an earthy type of vibe not really earthy but just more like feminine but also not like I don't know how to explain it like more outdoorsy I guess you can say yeah like earthy I think so I place the flower I put the butterfly and then I'm gonna be putting the crystal so the crystal is going down here and this was the perfect sized one for this specific nail so I felt like it was really perfect and I'm so sorry if you guys hear any talking in the back my boyfriend is playing video games and he's hella loud but yeah so that's what i'm doing here and then i really love the placement of like the butterfly on one end and then the flower and the crystal on the other end just because it's really just like nature vibes really gorgeous and just like looks so beautiful i love it so much i was just completely freestyling this set and then I am also going in with my glue. Again, this is the way to make big gems, big crystals, big rhinestones, whatever it is, uh, big charms, how to make them last. So go all around the exterior of the gems, 
um, kind of like the border and just go in with your glue and just really really tighten them in there like go like this as you can see here I'm like filling in little gaps and stuff like that I'm trying my best not to get them on the rhinestones because I don't want it to alter the shine but sometimes it's inedible and you can't really like go around it but I'd rather have the bigger ones stay than them pop off and then it's totally fine to have a little tiny bit of glue on like one of the gems you know so I'd rather just make sure that they're really secure and then right here I am just going to be taking some more more glue and then I'm gonna be placing some gems placement stuff here so I'm gonna be placing an SS uh, 12 Swarovski and then an SS 8 I believe and then another little butterfly charm and then a, uh, another SS 8 and then an SS or I mean an SS 10 and then an SS 8 and then I am just placing some on the edges as well this is the biggest tip to make sure that big charms or little things like this don't snag um sometimes people say it gets stuck on their hair and stuff you guys i wear crystals almost every single set and i've never had it get stuck in my hair and i have like thick thick hair like it's never happened to me though i don't know why i think it's the way i secure them and go around the border so that there's no little entryways for your hair to slip into if that makes sense so as you can see here i'm filling in all the little gaps with extra rhinestones just to make sure that the bottom of the charm is really really secure so that there's no way for anything to get under there and then this is the other hand. I was kind of out of frame, but I do go back in frame right now. I grabbed the Virgo charm and then the butterfly is going to be like facing downwards now. Or like I flipped the set over just so that the butterflies can be facing different directions. I love when everything looks really natural and I don't like having two or like cluster nails be exactly the same on each hand. I don't know if that makes sense, but like I really want them to look as natural and effortless as possible. And I feel like that's when they come out the most beautiful. So I am just going ahead and placing everything randomly again. But the butterfly is going to be facing a different way, I think. And then I'm also going to be um, basically doing the same steps again. Adding different um, little sized rhinestones and filling in any gaps that you see. Just adding more glue for your bigger charms. Like these, this flower one. I noticed that I wanted a little extra glue because I really wanted the flower to be stuck and secure on there. I don't want the flower to fall off or anything. And then, yeah, so that's what I'm doing there. And then, I'm so sorry, you guys. I literally get out of frame so easily, and I don't know why, but I had explained that um, my phone stand is really, really bad, and it literally like is on the center of my table, and I tend to pull the nail set closer to me when I'm working, which is kind of annoying. Okay, you guys, and then once the the gems or the all the crystals are cured, I do go in with my matte top coat because this nail was matte before I placed the gems on there, and I really want to make sure that the matte stays there. A lot of people ask me how I do my matte nails with gems like this, and I'll literally just matte top coat it again all around the gems like I would with the normal top coat. So I try my best not to get it on there, but like I said, a little bit might get on there. It's inedible sometimes, but I do try my best not to get it on. And then I'm just placing all around and then I do go back and cure it again. And I did want to say when I'm using my McCart rhinestone gel and I have a lot of gems like this, especially with the big uh, clusters or like how I use like these little crystals and any type of charms, I like to flip the nails on their side while they're curing. I'll let them cure for one minute just straight and then like an extra 30 seconds on their side just to make sure that any little crevices that had gel that are hiding underneath a charm or underneath a big... Um, crystal or anything like that it gets cured all the way just to make sure that your rhinestones don't fall off and that everything's nice and cured so that's just what I do as well and then right here I'm going to be adding little extra crystals onto the other nails as well just a few just so that they're not simple and completely plain this is what it looks like it looks so so gorgeous you guys I'm obsessed with this and I was just like wanting to see what it looked like on I was so in love with them I was like these in pink would have been fire you guys I want to do some pink ones I don't know what season is after Virgo I literally have no idea is it Libra it might be Libra I have no idea let me know down below if you guys have any of your birthdays after Virgo but maybe I'll make another Virgo one but I'll make it pink I don't know I'll see what I come up with but I definitely want to do one using rose quartz and I feel like that'd be really cute so I did add some extra crystals. Um, I am going to add extra crystals, but right here I was just showing you guys this. I don't know, but I think the clip of me adding the little crystals got like didn't get recorded because my phone ended up dying, you guys. I'm pretty sure that's what ended up happening.
Okay, never mind, you guys. I think it was just the other thumb that got um, deleted, that didn't get recorded on accident. So I am just going ahead and applying some Swarovski on these ones as well with my same glue. And then I'm just going to be doing like two of them because I didn't want it to be too much. I wanted it to just kind of like um, be there, but I didn't want everything to be like you know too much rhinestones on the other ones as well because i really wanted that main virgo nail to stand out the most so that's what i'm doing here So that is basically it for this video you guys. I do end up going in with matte top coat again around the other nails. If you might be wondering like why did you top coat matte top coat them in the first place if you knew you were going to have to top coat again. I didn't know I was going to have to top coat again. The whole um, point of me applying the gems is like I'm supposed to be as careful as I can by applying a very little amount of glue or just whatever is necessary so that it's not covering so that the gems are covering it. But as you can see, I applied a little bit too much and I don't like when the glue is showing on top of that top coat. So I just go in again, just so that that shininess is covered. But yeah, if you were wondering, that's what happened there. And then I didn't get the clip of me like filing the tips just because I feel like that's kind of repetitive. Like I already always do that. But I did um, top coat this nail right here. And just to make sure it's really, really sparkly and beautiful. I really love the contrast between shiny and matte nails. I feel like it looks really cool. And then, yeah, you guys, right here, I was just showing you putting them in the box. And I really, really love them. I know I say that about, like, all the all the sets. But, you guys, they turn out so perfect. And then, like, all the hard work of, like, hours of working on it is just, like, so worth it. So, this is the final outcome. I really, really love how they turned out. As you can see on the other thumb, I placed a flower. And then on the other one, I did a butterfly. So that they're, like, different in their own way. But still go with the theme. And, yeah. I'm literally obsessed, you guys. So, so obsessed. Let me know if you guys recreate anything like this. If you guys get inspo from this, please, please, please tag me on Instagram. I would love to see your recreations. And, like I said, I'll be tagging the little... I'll be linking the little crystals and the colors that I use down below in the description box. So, you guys can check that out. And I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Let me know what you think. And this is a zoomed in shot of the nails and the little nail that I love so much. I'm definitely going to be doing a set like this again with pink, like I said. Maybe even blue. Blue would be really cool. So yeah, you guys, stay tuned for that. And I love you so much. Thank you for all the support. Bye! Hey you guys, so the video is not over just yet. If you are still here, you are a real one, first of all. I love you so much. And if you are here, this is a surprise giveaway, you guys. This is a, not a planned giveaway. I just decided to do this in this video while I was editing. I was like, you know what? You guys literally, literally, I just hit 15K and I can't even like fathom that in my brain. It's literally crazy. I barely hit 15K as I'm editing this. So I was like, you know what? Let me do a surprise giveaway. This isn't going to be the big one. But if you're still here, all you need to do is comment down below one thing that you love about doing nails or that you love about nails and then your preferred nail method. So whether it be poly gel, press-ons, acrylic, whatever it is, make sure that you comment that down below as well with what you love about nails. So both of those things together so that I know what you like. All you have to do is make sure that you're subscribed and make sure that you comment that, what I, what I just said. And then you guys are going to be winning some type of surprise package, you guys. It's going to be a good one. Don't worry. It's going to be something really good. I just don't know yet. I have to get it together. Like I said, I literally planned this in like one minute, like literally right now. So like I don't even know what it's going to be yet. But I promise you guys, I got you. It's going to be something really amazing, something that you'll definitely use. So if you do your own nails at home, if you do nails for someone, if you're a nail tech, whatever it is, even if you're a press-on nail artist, make sure you go ahead and enter.
and then I'm so excited for you guys to win. If you win, keep your notifications on for YouTube because I will be replying back to you and we will somehow exchange info. I don't even know how I'm going to do it, you guys. But yeah, just make sure you're subscribed. I love you so much.